No, I don't waste no time So guys, welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. I own my own social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands, and I also have my own education business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to get your first clients, how to start your agency, how to build it up, automate it, scale it so that you can live life on your own terms. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can basically steal your competitor's audience. So when you are in the business manager, you go to ads, you create your ad account, and then you go down to audience in the ad set level, you can basically here create an audience. And the great thing about Facebook and what we can do here is literally type in our audience to see if it comes up as an interest. So for example, one of our clients, I'll just quickly remove the Netherlands here, uh, one of our clients is in the US and they own an e-com store and one of their competitors is actually Steve Madden because it is a shoe brand. So what we actually did for this client, one of our interests uh, that we basically ran our content and ads to is Steve Madden because we are, so basically what we're doing now is we are targeting people that are interested in Steve Madden's page and people that are interested in Steve Madden's page usually are customers or people that have purchased Steve Madden uh, shoes in the past. So now we are targeting people that are interested in Steve Madden because Steve Madden is our competitor and we know that if they like Steve Madden, they'll probably like us as well. And because obviously we think that our offer is superior to the Steve Madden shoes, obviously you know, there is a big, um, you know, two completely different brands, etc. but you know, still, we know that if they are interested in Steve Madden, then chances are they'll buy our products as well. So this is a great way for us to siphon their customers and put our ads in front of those people. Now, of course, the reason why we are able to do this is because Steve Madden is a big, big brand. Uh, for smaller uh, clients with smaller competitors, this might not always be the case. And same goes for me, you know, personally, if I want to run ads for my uh, coaching business, I will need to, or and if, if I want to run ads to my competitors, um, you know, these competitors do need to be big enough. So for example, if I, if I consider Ty Lopez a competitor, because he has his own social media um, agency course as well, as you can see, I can actually target him. So I can now find people that are interested in Ty Lopez uh, and you know siphon those people in and make them see my ads because they are more likely to purchase from me as well. However, if we consider Sam Ovens as a competitor, we cannot actually target Sam Ovens uh, with Facebook interest because he is not yet big enough. As you can see here, Samsung owns Galaxy S8. That is not, not Sam Ovens. So unfortunately, we cannot use um, Sam Ovens as an interest to um, you know, basically, like I said, get our ads in front of people that are interested in Sam Ovens. However, there is a way around this um, and we'll stick to the Sam Ovens example for now and I'll show you guys a few other examples as well. Um, so if you are like me, then you probably have now got the new update of Facebook, which is uh, very confusing in my opinion. So all I'll just do is just type it in here. But what you can do is you can go to Audience Insights here Okay, and there we go. So um, from here, we click on everyone on Facebook. And then in terms of the location, uh, we can deselect this and we can say, for example, the United Kingdom, if that is what your target audience is. In my case, it is. And then from here, you select a, you know, the age, the gender, etc. And what we can now do is we can find interests that are large enough and then look at the page likes and see what pages we can actually target. So for example, what did I just mention before was Ty Lopez. So we select Ty Lopez as an interest here, and obviously we get additional information, 81% uh, are male, 19% are female, which was you know, obviously very interesting to the insights. But then when we go to page likes, and wait for it to load, there we go. So as you can see here, we can now find other pages that are relevant to Ty Lopez, and see if we can actually use them as an audience. So as we can see, people that are interested in Ty Lopez are also interested in Beats by Dre, Sony UK. Um, and then if we select more here, we can find uh, a bit more relevant um, sections, for example, entrepreneur. So we cannot target Sam Ovens, as you can see here. By the way, for those that are not aware what all these X's and crosses are, 
Um, this is basically my way of seeing which audience I can actually use as an interest. Uh, for those of you that are in the coaching, you guys will know what this is, but um, all the X's basically mean that you can't use them as an interest. All the marks, the check marks are ones that you can actually use as an interest. So anyway, uh, moving on. Um, back to entrepreneur. So as you can see, where is entrepreneur? I just had it before, didn't I? If not, we just use, oh, there we go. So as you can see, Russell Brunson is an interest that we can actually target. So um, this is a competitor, if you will. It's someone within the space um, that we can actually use as an interest. And we know that, okay, people that are interested in Russell Brunson, you know, might also be interested in social media marketing because there is a correlation there. Russell Brunson, ClickFunnels, entrepreneurship, uh, social media marketing. So that might actually be a very good interest for us to target. Same goes for Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, what else do we have? Jim Ron, Tim Ferriss, uh, Ty Lopez again. Uh, Bob Proctor might even be a good one. The Facebook app might be a, be a good one. But as you can see here, so this is how I do it. This is how I find competitors um, that are large enough to actually use as an interest. And that is how I can basically get my ads in front of my competitors' audience and siphon them on to show uh, my advertisements. And obviously, I've used that for myself. But as I mentioned, um, you know, for our clients as well. Uh, so as I mentioned, you know, one of our clients has Steve Madden as a competitor. So if I type in Steve Madden here, um, not work, Steve Madden as an interest. I think it's this one. There we go. So as we see, people that are interested in Steve Madden are also interested in Ego Shoes, Swarovski, Pandora, uh, what else? Bobby Brown Cosmetics, um, Ben and Jerry's even. And uh, this is basically how we can find more interests that are relevant to this specific one and see if we can find any more competitors. So in this case, maybe uh, Brand Alley UK, Selfridges are you know potential competitors. Uh, this is actually UK. Our client is in the US. Let me just quickly switch that over. And wait for it to load. There we go. Tory Birch, Saks Fifth Avenue, DSW, Designer Shoe Warehouse. So these are all competitors that you know we can fill in in uh, Facebook's basically audience, uh, basically Facebook's interests, and then we can see if we can actually target them as an interest. If we can, then like I said, that is how we get our advertisements in front of our competitors. Another one of our clients has a uh, basically a sort of interior furniture, high ticket e-com store. So one of their competitors is actually Ikea. So again, we type in Ikea as an interest because that, also, that is a very large audience. And then we can find more interests down here and we can see what other interests um, that we can actually target. I just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable, which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. And another great thing is what we can do is if you have access to your client's Facebook page, which you will if you if it's your client, you can then fill out their client's, uh, the client's page here, which I won't actually do because you'll see a drop down of all the clients that we've got. And from there, you will see other pages that your customers or the client's customers uh, like, and you can see there's any competitors there that you can basically do the same thing. So you can reverse engineer what we've actually been doing here. So I hope you enjoyed this little tip. Hope you got some out of it. Leave a comment down below if you have any more tips on how to uh, basically get your ads in front of uh, your competitors' audience, or just leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.